Sometimes it's very, very hard for these guys wearing all that stuff, especially those full face helmets, making it really hard for them to hear you scream and applaud. And that's the way this works. Now, the more noise you guys make, the harder our riders are going to perform. The more fun you have, the more fun they're going to have. And just to help you guys out, we got a couple t-shirts we're going to hand out to a couple of lucky winners. People who are making a lot of noise, cheering our riders on, because they're the ones that are going to toss these things out. So like I told you, cheer our riders on. They definitely want to hear you guys make a lot of noise. They definitely want to hear you guys support them with your screams and applause, okay? And that's the way it's going to work. Now right now, I'd like to introduce to you the GT Bicycle Air Show team, the world's number one traveling stunt show. Put your hands together for these three guys right here for These are three of the top riders in the nation. These guys are all featured on the ESPN2 Destination Extreme Contest and the Extreme Games. These guys are one of the, the best riders in the world. Our team consists of 10 of the best riders from all over the world who travel year around, all over the world as well. Internationally, these guys are doing shows in Brazil, Europe, Germany, they're all over the place, and even in Mexico and Brazil. These guys travel quite a bit, doing over 650 shows, spanning almost 350 days. These guys stay quite busy almost every single day of the year. They do state fairs, Long Beach Grand Prix, Indy Car Finals, school shows, bike shops, malls, you name it, these guys are doing it. And in fact, the last three years in a row, these guys are rated the number one NBA halftime act for 94, 95, and 96. And that just goes to show you how good these guys are. So on that note, I just have one question to ask. Are you guys ready for the GT Bicycle Air Show team? All right, let's cheer these guys out. Bringing out our first rider. This young man is 24 years old. He's been riding almost 13 years. His specialty is riding flat land ground, doing tricks on the ground. Riding that bike in just about any position possible, backwards, sideways, vertical, you know it, this guy can do it. And he's just getting warmed up, having a good time right now. He's also the current national flat land champion all the way from Austin, Texas. Put your hands together for Ruben Castillo. doing the California surfer, Ruben Castillo. This guy lives in Huntington Beach right now, but he rides with 10 of the best pros in the world. That's what made this guy the number one amateur out there. And next up, riding on his highlight, FS Pro Team Model Bike. This guy was 1995's number one overall freestyle rider in the nation. He's also the current national vertical and street riding champion. All the way from San Antonio, Texas, another Texas boy. Put your hands together for Kevin Gutierrez. This guy is the most watched freestyle rider in the world. When they make this guy go out there during his run, they call his name out, I guarantee you this guy is watched by every single freestyle rider. And back out here performing for you guys again. This guy has been around since day one, almost 15 years, and one of the few riders to ever beat Matt Hoffman. He's also the 1987's world champion from Riverside, California. Put your hands together for Timmy Rogers. I think I need to turn down the music for this guy because once he hears music, this guy goes off having a good time riding on his GT bicycle. Now, Timmy is a part-time rider for GT, but I guarantee you, this guy is still one of the top vertical ramp riders in the world. You can see this guy so high, it's anywhere from 8 to 10 feet above the top of this ramp. Yeah, give it up one more time for Timmy Rogers. That's the entire GT bicycle show. They're just getting warmed up, doing a couple very basic tricks. Tricks happen to be getting warmed up. Yeah, we got Ruben out there doing a forward speaker to a backward speaker, kicking the frame underneath his body, still going around, cruising it. Now, Ruben is an awesome flatland rider, but what it takes to get to this level. It took him every bit of slow seven years, at least, practicing five hours a day. And lately, this guy's been putting in about eight hours a day. He's come back into the sport. He's only been riding for the last seven months. Five years before that, this guy didn't even touch his bicycle. In seven short months, it just goes to show you what this guy can do. Went down to the first contest in five years in South Padre Island. Qualified first, did his main run, got first place, took the overall for the weekend, making him the number one current amateur flatland rider. What do you guys think of Ruben there? Yeah, riding on the newest 97 prototype Dino Slammer, especially designed for Ruben, especially designed for flatland ground trips. 
guy. They call him the Duke. Kevin Gutierrez. This guy's specialty is riding up on the ramps. If you check your local listings, they show this thing almost every single day. And this guy is all over the place. Riding his bike, doing a bunch of 360 variations is what he's known for. Yeah, Kevin Gutierrez. Now these guys aren't done yet, we have plenty more to show you guys, plenty more to do. Yeah, doing a 270 to pay stuff, up over and over the way, with the nice baby out there. Give it up to Kevin. Oh. Having a little slow start there, Tim, I think you should try that one more time. It's called a 540 tail tap. Here he goes, check this out. Up and all the way around, Timmy Rogers. This guy's going to show you what high airs are all about. Yeah, doing the tail tap to manual, dropping right back in. Just getting started, just getting warmed up, making sure that in there. Yeah, Timmy doing a 260 Check this out, doing a 270 drop in. Oh, and right up and all around. Yeah, Timmy. I'm just going to give these guys a little bit of a break. Now we definitely stress safety, like I told you guys before. Definitely do not go home and try these tricks at home. Now I want to tell you a little bit about these guys. These guys travel quite a bit throughout the course of the year. They get really tired when they do shows, and like I told you, all your support, your screams and encouragement, all your applause are definitely going to help these guys. We just did shows yesterday at 7.30. We didn't even leave Lubbock until about 9.30 at night. We've been driving all night. We haven't even been to a hotel, haven't really even showered, so if you smell something, it's Kevin. I guarantee it. No, just kidding, but yeah, we're going to see our back out here. Yeah, we're blast, the backers really up and around with a boomerang. Don't let it up, coming back around with just some side squeaks. Onto the back side, the backers really are awesome. And right back there, doing an awesome job. I'm going to tell you, you know what? I beat all the top amateurs out there. I practice with 10 of the best pros. I think at the next contest, which he's going to Germany for the next contest in one month. He also won that trip in his last contest. He won an all expense paid trip to go to Germany. And he told me this guy's going to play Tom Pierre at the next contest. Doing an awesome job. Give it up one more time to Ruben Castillo. Now we're going to turn things over to Kevin and Tim. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hand these guys to a back. Yeah, Timmy Rogers. Check this out right up.
Sanders back towards the ramp. Coming fish right on the edge of the rip of the quarter pipe. Yeah, doing a fly out. Now check this out. He's going to do a rock, walk, drop in. Setting up. Come on, Kevin. All right, here he goes. Kevin Gutierrez. Take this time. and he's saving him. That's one of his tricks and he has another trick he's going to do. So he'll definitely try it, but he's going to wait till the end of his run. Now right now we're getting Kevin working on his bike. Kevin, where are you? Where did he go? He's going to be right. It's very high. I've seen these guys go anywhere from 8 to 10 feet above the top of that ramp, sometimes even higher. Now if they make one mistake, I guarantee you these guys can get really hurt. So anyway, if Kevin can get ready, you almost ready there, Kev? We'll give him a little bit of time there. What do you guys think of the show so far? Are you guys having a good time? Show. All right, can we get a quick announcement there? Okay. All right, Kevin, you ready? Yeah. See, working and all. All right. Now, we're going to see how high these guys can go. Now, the way this works, like I told you, the louder you get, the higher these guys go. Now, as each one of these guys makes their way towards the ramp, I want to hear you guys start screaming and don't stop till he comes down. Let's go on, do whatever it takes to get these guys pumped up. First, we're going to have Kevin. Then Tim. So let's practice him a little bit. Here he goes. All right, Kevin, whenever you're ready. He's going to get as much speed from the back entrance of the show area as much as possible. Here he goes. Now I guarantee you this next step can go even higher, but you're going to have to get even louder. and final run. And I think Ruben's even holding back for the next show. His last and final run, Ruben Castillo. Now he's gonna try a couple new tricks. He might have a little bit of a difficult time, but you never know. Check him out, trying tricks that he's gonna be trying at the Royals. All right, Ruben, that's all right. We'll give you one more chance here. 
Here goes one more time. It's a hang fire. One foot over the front tire. Going round and round. Yeah. Onto the pedal. Newest trick out there. Doing a smoothie. Coming back across. Very difficult trick. Into a four spin. He's not done yet. Into some mixed circles. Into side speed. Still going on the same trick. Up with a decade. Yeah. Double yeah. Yeah. Right back to the cross. Twice and see if he can pull it off. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's give the entire GT Bicycle Show team a round of 